Oh, along the road, the lives a guy, I'd like you all to know. He grew a great big marrow for the Luton Flower Show. He showed it to a lady who lived just along the way. And when she saw the signs of it, he had the ladies. Tiny Tums, Tiny Pies. You simply won't get tinier. Peens. Not quite peas. Not quite beans. But something special in betweens. Barbara, get the big plates out. Oh, Nigel. Give your wife the best. Give her Big Ron's big pies. Come on down to what you... Come on down to what you bake hall. Where we have... And ample variety. Bammy buzzers, buttery nubs. Bammy buzzers, buttery nubs. Bammy buzzers, buttery nubs. Bammy buzzers, buttery nubs. Family. Romance. Pit. Visit Banzer. It's great good. So that's Banzer. Strange place, I know, but they need what we're selling, see? I've got you a meeting with the Lord Mayor today, so don't miss that bus. Are you listening? Get going! What are you still doing here, boy? Get out! Carol, I'm going to need another top up of the letter. This has happened again. Good grief, lad! The front door is right there! We're ten stories up for crying out loud! Down for Megan Quest Pasty, but Meg's in Torben.
slaughtered a, a problem with chicken. Just the man I need. The mayor's asked me to clean up this little rose garden. You can start by getting on that mower. I love you. 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 That is a fine stamen. Nice firm grip on that mower, lad. I tell you, Reggie's wife could learn a thing or two. <laughs> and then I can finally get home to my puzzles. I love puzzles. No chance of any of them round here, though. Oh. Oh. I'll starve. Oof. <laughs> Good morning, little fella. Over here. Thank goodness you're here. I spied a shiny tuppence down this hair runoff. But more fool me, my arm has become trapped. Perhaps you might see about sourcing some lubrication, and I might slip free. I need something greasy to slip me out of here. P. E. Oof. Morning. Council tax all paid. I can never think of what to put on this. We'll be open in a minute, fellas. Oh. 
I do love my mole wife. You and your wife should come around sometime. We live underground, in soil and that. Anyway, I best be off. I've got some worms to suck up into my big mole mouth. My wife could live a thing or two. Open at the moment. Because this dolt has lost my keys. And now we've got to wait for that useless locksmith. Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Meg. What am I like? Colin, you are the most work shy fuck I've ever had the misfortune to employ. Oh, oh dear. Charlie, I hope he gets that tuppence. How about a cobbler's pint, eh? What's a cobbler's pint, then? It's like a normal pint, but I take both my shoes off. Ah, uh, I'd love to, Ronnie, but the beer's coming out all flat. Flat? Well, why don't you go down into the cellar and knock a few barrels about? Slim chance of that. I don't even know how to get downstairs. You can't get downstairs in your own blinking public house. Well, Florence normally does it, but she's off today. Good grief. Yeah. 
Ah, nothing like a nice white pint to start the day. Every morning I wake up, kind of lager, then I do a big wee, then I get out of bed and I go downstairs for my morning pint. You know, you need steady hands to be a locksmith. Larry, you were just talking about my morning pint. I think I'll take it now, please. Right you are, Ronnie. Another morning pint coming up. You working today then, fella? Yes. In fact, I'm supposed to be at Meg's already, I think. I'll be back in a moment for my morning pint. Oh, what's he like, eh? Come on then, let's pour you a pint and all. On the house. That Ronnie's a character. He'll be back later, I reckon. No breakfast for me. Typical. I never get my way. Ah. Thanks for fetching that, Ronnie lad. I'd offer you a pasty if you didn't have cooked yet. Help yourself to out front back, though. Dolly! What on earth are you doing with that mop, boy? Oh, gosh. I'm sorry, Mrs. Meg. My mum's got me back on the mercury again. Give me strength. Of 
I've never seen a hole as big as that before. Marge, I don't think this thing's worked in quite a while. How have you been cooking fish and chips all this time? Oh, I just do a cold fry, usually. Whoa! Hang on a wee minute. Where's my blinking spanner? Oh, don't tell me it's been pinched again. It'll be that senile old fishmonger bish down at the market. You better get down there and find it, or it'll be cold chips till the cows come home. Now then, Marge, about my payment. Oh, well, it looks like there's no money until... No, no, I'm not doing it like that again. I didn't walk right for a week last time, and that vinegar smell's only just washed out. Suit yourself. Half past seven, and ever so gently, put your best foot forward. Oh, that's okay. I couldn't get it quite right my first 48 times either. There's nothing like walking this. I'm not for safe. Oh! Ah, thank goodness you're here. If you're looking for something to do, that middle aisle is your right seat. Can you straighten it up for us? Two for one, three for two, one for all, but for my shoe. Oh, I don't know. Get it on my buried by ending there. Uh, uh, that's just what we call laying pipes, which is what we call shagging. sausage here. Would you like it? Here you go. Ah, I've dropped it. That's okay. I've got another. Ah, I've dropped it again. It's all right. I've got some more inside. Back in a mo.
got here then? A toad in the owl. Don't worry, little fella. I'll pop you down the apples and pears in a jiffy. <coughs> Ah, a fine mess. Don't bother there, young man. Help yourself to some scrambled bread on your way out. I better get a dust pan and brush. Off your pop then. Thank goodness you're here. I've been sucking this pipe all morning. I haven't got a drop out of it. Little Tomantha is that he crossed it over. We need to dampen that topsoil pronto. <laughs> You know, I love cucumbers, but I cannot stand a snail. Every time I put one in my mouth, I'm nearly sick. Will you do me a favour? If you see any snails, give them a clip round the ear hole for me. I simply do not like snails at all. Come on, get into it, Pintai. Now I'll do. Goodness, you hear that? The stores will be out in this. Give us a hand setting it up, won't you? I'll do it myself, but my gout's playing up.
Oh, a fine scene. Jasper, I've no idea how that got there. I pull the other one. Passing off my spanner as a stiff kipper, is it? But we've been friends for 40 years. Why on earth would I betray your trust now? Why don't you spare me the excuses, you fat trout? I'm taking this back to my toolbox where it belongs. How embarrassing. Cracking work, lad. The stoves never look better. Have you heard about Big Ron's? What's he done? No pies. No pies? I know, that's what I said, I know. On a Thursday morning, no less. On a Thursday morning? What are you going to do? Well, I don't know, but I'd eat pie for tea. Oh, of course you do. Why don't you ask your bevel to make you one? Oh, I suppose we do with that jar of mustard that needs using. Well, there you go then. I'll be round at six. But well, you're not invited. I can't believe that Big Ron no pie. No more dinner guests. I should hang his head. Not after last time. Oh. Oh. Doug's the name, rugs are the game. Johnny's the wife, died in Corfu, 1992. Don't ask me how. Wow, hold on. Me fish pop. What's all this about then? Who's done that? Hey. Oh. Can I help? Oh, I. Very handsome, my dog. You know what some food does. Lad! Oh, thank goodness you're here! You better get yourself in here, now! Come on, come on, come on! What's he doing in there? Urgent! The absolute state of this. I'm ready to hungry, me. Oh, you've come just in the nick of time! I came in as usual, opened up shop, counted till, went to make my first pie of the day, and then I realised we've no meat! I can't make a pie without meat! It's the second most important ingredient! Ooh, I hate to say it, but you'll have to get down to Sam's hams and pick us up some of his steak. Oh, a sorry state indeed. Florence! Get that oven warmed up for when this young man comes back. Yes, of course, Mr. Warren. Right away. Come on then, lad. Let's be having you.
breakfast, and now no lunch. Well, I guess I will just starve. Ooh. Oily babs, get them fresh, get them warm, get them moist. Higher in carbs, higher in oil. Duh. Big pies, tiny pies, all I need is my burger. Five across, a thick rope of wire. What a mess! Blue minute, you're really set him off now, aren't you? Well, what? It is big! Well, you didn't have to say it like that. Shouldn't be so soft about it. I've got a big tour, so don't see me tricking bananas. A good boy. My big bow. Look at the size of this lad's marrow. Yeah. Says here that tomatoes are a fruit. <laughs> yeah. oh. yeah. 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 Looks like we didn't need that hose yeah. after all, lad. Right, so all we need now yeah. is fertilizer. Hey, bees, there's some really good looking fish in here. That one's got a nice set of teeth. I hope we catch some at bees, I'm starving. Ah, the dingle rude. A most invasive and hostile flower. If even slightly agitated, it will burst and scatter the seed. Fortunately, I've caught this one before it could do any damage. Never touch a dingle weed with the open palm. They are dangerously virile. Oh!
hear some wisdom for you. Never give an owl a towel. I can't seem to understand it. I pick up all the litter and I put it in a bag. And then, next thing I know, it's roaming everywhere. I'll never make puzzle night at this rate. Still, I do love litter. My drain pipes are all blocked up over there, and I need them cleaning out. Won't you give it a go? Great job! It's only Nancy's new bloody boyfriend. She's got a new one every week. It'll be nice to have a proper sit-down tea. I'd rather have a sit-down wee. Oh, B.A. with no butter today. Colin's gone and lost it, so it's vegan. I hope that's all right. Oh no, I'd rather shit bed. Oh, you found me. I'm the fridge stoat, and I'm awfully frigid. Ah, no, I just... I'm actually the town bow, if you catch my meaning. Then. Do you think it's possible to do real dungeons? Ah! Hey, oh, it's happened again. Me pasty pop. night. The numbers were getting higher and higher. The programming more and more irreverent. I was almost entrapped by the tally shopping. A long form piece about a wet and dry vacuum cleaner almost caught my eye. But then I happened upon the strangest of things. An entire television channel dedicated to women on the phone. Of course, I dialed in immediately, and the operator connected me to the most enchanting lady, Chantel. We spoke for hours of Tolstoy, and of Dickens, and of Tchaikovsky, and of course, anatomy. 
And see, that's why I needed your credit card details, Larry. Right, Ronnie. For the telly ladies. Yeah, that's right, Larry. That was for a night of mutual pleasure. Right you are, Ronnie. Now, about my tap. I won't be paying it. I need all of that money for the wet and dry vacuum. I wonder, Larry, just how wet can we get it? Bring back asbestos. It's fine. You are being lied to. I crack and work reclaiming my spanner from that despicable fishmonger. Unfortunately, I've just noticed my screwdriver's gone missing too. It's probably that daft lassie, Kerry, down at Price Shaggers. Right, away you go, laddie. I can't get into this thing without my trusty screwdriver. What the devil are you still doing here, boy? I need that screwdriver quick sticks. Hello. He's just the bits you found his spanner. Shame about Mr. Bish, though. I'll not be buying from him again. Oh. Is that fresh still, bro? Come on, I'll eat him raw. Uh. Ooh. I get lonely sometimes. So I like to have a little look through the window. Rubbish in my bin. I won't. Monkey pup. I don't know. Huh. Oh. Oh, thank goodness you're here. They're everywhere. Somebody must have laid them down from the roof. Can you fetch us that box of rat poison from top shelf? I've been on my best behaviour. I deserve a treat, not a mouse. Don't leave me with all these. 
Big Small and Gray. Well, yes, I might be Deutsch Master. Put your rubbish in my bin. I won't. Don't put your rubbish in my bin. I won't. Put your rubbish in my bin. I won't. Hey. Oh. 